Long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man. But he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Nancy. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the gentleman. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Diesel. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. Wow. Early connection with the left from the champ. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Welcome, suck him out of the suit here. Oh. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice jab. Frantic pace early on to this one. Good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. There's that kick.
Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate after exiting the clinch. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. That was a big check. Oh, nice. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Beautiful hands on this play. Another punch lands. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks. But this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. High amplitude elbow here. It's blocked. Just over two minutes to go. Lands with the lead right. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them up. <laughs> nice, solid punch to hit. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock the guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the pick. Go and pick the truth. <laughs> oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Oh, man. Oh, well, why get away from it? Another huge kick lands. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Finds his range with the jab. Oh, head kick gets home. Don't want to take too many of those. He gets to the single collar tag. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Big shot to the head. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood start to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. In the box. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Second round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, 
right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. But he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. It's defensive savant. He blocked that punch. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the gun. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Bone on bone. Nicely done with the high kick. Lands a right hand out of that exchange. That punch, no good. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Doing a really good job of throwing those leg kicks. There's that side kick. Nice straight punch there. Oh, rips the body shot there. Left hand counter. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate. He's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Beautiful kick lands there. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, big punch land. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Busy in the clinch. Lands that punch. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. Big, big strikes continue to land. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Immediately gets the underhook. Now he's separating. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots at top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. Oh, my God! Right here, you got to empty the gas tank, John. You got to just go forward and let everything fly. Straight punch lands. Maximizing his shots here on the ground. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. All right, round three coming up next. Well, DC, this is what the fans paid to come and see. Multiple knockdowns on one side in that round, and it's amazing to think that as we sit here, this fight's not over yet. It's not over yet. There's no three-knockdown rule, like in boxing. Right. So as long as the guy gets up, right. the guy can continue to fight. It is, a, it is a phenomenal fight. We knew it when the matchmakers told them that they were putting them together. Great fight, and it's truly delivered.
possible five. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the guard. I oh, missed with that right hand. Now he's back up. Oh, nice right hand. Unable to land with that punch. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Oh, and he oh, right into Mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Big ground and pound. Wow, well, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. And he continues to target that area. Right well, well, when you saw right it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Oh, looks as though that right eye might be starting to shut. Yes, it is. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Good combination. Takedown defense is there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Dig and kick. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh! That is it! Oh! Stop! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. We send it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Diesel. All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.